Hi guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. So this is the second part of my Nat 5 defense, sorry, Nat 5 tower defense upgrade for Siege. Today we're going to be talking about more Savannah Kage and I said that I'm going to continue on using this defense because I like it and the reason I think it didn't do as well as before was because I made a change in, in Kage where I put him on Fatal because I want to use him in Arena. That failed and overall because of that, Dusty's defense failed. So I'm gonna give it one more shot. I'm gonna upgrade the more, upgrade the Savannah if I can because I am now getting low on fast, fast, violent will set. And also upgrade the Kaki on the violent will set. And that should be doable because Kaki has a very fast base speed as well. So it should be relatively easier to ruin. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys do, please consider smashing that like button, make it blue, and also subscribe to the channel because that really helps me, makes me happy. And let me know what you guys think about the overall results uh, result after this video by commenting. Hi guys, before we start the video, if you are interested in any of the account services you see in this video or my past videos, please go to the descriptions below and join my Discord channel. All the information you need is there. Also, if you enjoy my content and want to support me and my channel financially, please join my Patreon, which there is also a link in the descriptions below. By joining, there is a chance you can win a free account improvement in the content you want in Summoner's War, and also free to ask for help whenever you are stuck in the game. I try to be more of a direct help to my Patreons, so there is a high chance I will help you with your account. Just remember to be respectful to each other, and we can schedule a time that works. That is it, and let's continue with the video. So... This is more. Well, if you guys remember from the past video or from the build before, it had a 1, 271 speed before, but now it has a 281 speed. It was around the 270s, but now it's in the 280s. We have a lot of defense. We have a lot of attack. We have some HP, and now he's not on a he's not on a hundred accuracy because we got rid of the accuracy rune. We went with the defense rune, but we tried our best to get at least 45 accuracy, like you see right now, and we. We're lucky to get also a crit rate a build so you can see the 80 percent crit rate so let's look at the runes um he's on despair broken because i just focused on him going first we took off some runes from juno which is a big sacrifice for me because i prioritize juno a lot due to my arena defense however i was like forget it i'm going to focus on siege defense i really like to see that great record and i'm gonna get that for a lot of my defenses so i decided to sacrifice the runes on juno and put it on the more as you see here this is one of my best runes that i have for juno but it's on more now another great rune here i don't know if you have a rune for improvement we actually do um but it looks like we don't have a attack gem so i'm not gonna change this i'm i want a better attack gem so we'll just leave it as is but these could be definitely better so let's try to get something better there nice plus seven and we'll leave that right now because the best we could do is plus seven there as well. Um, this was still another awesome rune, another one, another fast rune that we got. Like I stated in the previous video, this is a this is the despair crit rate rune. That's pretty nice. Um, a fatal rune that's really fast, and a will rune that's pretty fast. Um, with the artifacts, we're getting more damage, crit damage because he is on a crit rate build. Getting more crit damage is actually pretty good. And then here we're getting more accuracy from skill 2 because we are lacking accuracy so 19% there and then more additional damage with this attack increasing effect that I think is kind of like a lost cause um, maybe we could change something mm, uh, not I don't see anything good yet so just leave it as is so that's the more next was a Savannah and the Savannah's outcome was pretty disappointing we used a lot of violent will sets on the very first two, three, four defenses, and I had a very hard time finding a fast violent will set that was left. This is it. This is the build that we were able to find. The minimum speed I wanted was 250 speed, so we did get 251. We did get 20k HP. We did got we did get 1.8k attack, and we got the crit rate crit damage somewhat. I was hoping for more like an 80%, but. I just couldn't get that anymore and the accuracy is just we have to work with what we have because i couldn't focus on the accuracy when i was trying to focus the other stats um if you look at the runes you can see definitely the rune quality went down you can see everything the speed the thing is over 25 everything's lower than 25 so definitely see a lower 
quality runes here and for artifacts we definitely we focused on accuracy so we got skill 3 accuracy there um, all of these stats synergize thankfully on the savannah so that's great and here also just more damage taking less damage so on so forth um, but that was it um, overall savannah wasn't an upgrade it was a slightly down it was a slightly downgrade um, if you guys, if my past video was still alive, you guys would see that Savannah was nearly stripped. She had almost no runes left because we all took it off for the other defenses. And I'm actually surprised that we were able to get a, a build like this, um, seeing how many fast runes we used. But thankfully, we were able to get something that was usable, and that's what I would call this Savannah, a usable Savannah for this team. Finally, let's go to the Kaki, which there was a big change. So Kaki is now on a Violent Will build, uh, 236 speed. It's actually 240, but we have a rune that's not, not grinded at all, which is right here. So if we get a plus four, he'll be 240 speed, which I think it's enough for him to move right after the Savannah, especially if Savannah uses skill three, that'll push back the attack bar. If not, yeah, maybe they'll cut in, but I will take that risk. Uh, these are the runes. Uh, we could get this grinded to make all of these grinded. So that would be awesome. Um, this is a loss, loss stat here. Crit damage. Uh, fast attack rune. And a good nice tanky rune here. And the artifacts. Uh, life drain. Uh, that's about it. Life drain. Um, everything else is a lost cost. But we'll just leave it at that. This one is a much better rune. Where we get more speed. Not that much though. But skill 1 act. Uh, recovery skill and accuracy and defense push to loss HP these at least all help cocky so that's why I went with this artifact um, but overall the stats 20k HP 2.7k attack 1.1k defense and after the grind 240 speed so let's go test this defense out and notice that this defense kind of derps a lot you'll see more is just pretty stupid same with the Savannah um, but I hope the Savannah and Kaki at least they have a chance to proc and so it makes up for their mistakes But more is on the despair build so it really will it really has only one shot We'll take in this uh, this team because it's one of our best rune teams But we know that we're going second turn and that's what we're expecting um, This defense to go uh, to win against if the opponent is going second turn We want them to kind of like one shot or get rid of one of their crucial units so that we win So let's see if it does that. Okay, cool skill 2 We do get to move one defense break Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think that's probably it. We're not coming back from that. We're not coming back from that, guys. Um, so let's dismount the Savannah. Ooh, we didn't get a defense break either. No stuns. Oh shoot, that was a mistake. Ooh. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Let's take away the attack debuff. It's done, cool. If we kill the cocky, we win. Sleep. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. No defense break still, so I think we won. Savannah's dead. No defense break still, no proc. Okay, we won. We got a crit sleep on the cocky. Oh, he proc. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, we have to go for this guy. Okay, nice proc. Okay, counter. Another counter. Oh, it's over, isn't it? Boom. Boom. Yeah. Let's try that again. That was actually pretty close. Closer than I thought. Let's try one more time. Skill two. Okay. Okay. Got one stun. Come on. Defense break. Double defense break. Oh. Oh, you're going to proc after this? No. Oh, shoot. But. Oh, got the counter. Um. Shoot, who do you have to serve? Who do you have to save? I have to save the Triana, I think. Okay, never mind. Oh crap, sleep. Sleep. Oh 
my goodness. Okay, there you go. That's how I want this defense to win. It showed everything that I need to see. Oh, we killed the cocky. Then do we win? Is Karkana gonna make a comeback? Karkana make a comeback? No. <laughs> But yeah guys, that was it. That's how I want this defense to work. Let me know what you guys think about this defense. If you guys think that it's a good upgrade, if it's not, um, it'd be great if you guys put a comment below and let me know. Um, I definitely think this this more got much, much better. Guys, 10 more speed is no joke. 281 on this bear. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. So I'm very happy with this build. Let's see where we could what we could do with him if he brings him some wins. I'm sad with the Savannah, but Oh well, we're gonna work with her like this and find the cocky that's now on violent. So I'm hoping that he could actually, you know, sneak in some wins with his violent procs. Yeah, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please smash that like button again, make it blue so that this video will be exposed to more videos out there. And if you haven't, please consider subscribing because that really helps me and makes me happy when I see that number go up. Hope I could give you a better thorough review on the next defense I'm gonna update. I'm still debating what I will do on the next ones, but if I do, I hope I could make a better video a better video where I could show you guys how I change the runes. But until then, until next time, bye.